Our verse for today is Psalm 146, verse 9. The Lord watches over the strangers. He upholds the orphan and the widow, but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. There's a story in the Bible about a woman named Ruth that embodies this verse very well. Ruth was from the land of Moab. She was a Moabite, and she ends up marrying the son of Naomi. And unfortunately, her husband, Naomi's son, dies. Naomi is grief-stricken. She's disconsolate. She tells Ruth and her other daughter-in-law to go find other husbands and to go on with their life, and she's going to go back to, to Judah, back to her home. And Ruth pledges that she's going to stay with Naomi no matter what. She's never going to leave her, and she says, may nothing part us, not even death. And so she goes back with her mother-in-law, and times are hard, and she begins to glean in the field of a man named Boaz, as her mother-in-law instructed her. And the story unfolds in such a way that Ruth, who is both a stranger and a widow, clearly God is looking out for her. And she ends up marrying Boaz and eventually being a part of Jesus' family tree. One of four women whose background is not uh, straight up part of the Hebrew uh, lineage who are a part of Jesus' family tree. The idea that Lord, the Lord watches over strangers or aliens, orphans and widows is repeated throughout the book of Psalms and in the prophets and in the ministry of Jesus. Those of us who are followers of Christ are also called in a similar way, both as individuals and collectively as the church, to also care for aliens, strangers, orphans, and widows. And when we do that, we are doing some of the preeminent work of God and the preeminent work of the church. And throughout Christian history, uh, some of the most significant things that have marked the life of the church is the care for the lost, the least, those who are the most vulnerable in society, as widows, orphans, and aliens so often are. God's care for these groups and for the most vulnerable are contrasted with the wicked. And the wicked don't care about God's priorities. They don't care about other people other than themselves. They tend to be selfish, proud, and arrogant. And the psalm tells us that the way of the wicked God will bring to ruin. We don't want to be found with the wicked. We want to be found with those who, like Jesus, care for the widow and the orphan and the stranger.